Welcome back to yet another video on our F3328i. If you're new to the channel and you don't know about the car, let me fill you in quick. A couple years ago, we bought this car for just $1,850. It had a motor failure that luckily was covered under warranty, which led to us getting a free motor for it. Since then, the car has been wildly reliable until the day it rained. On that day, the drains clogged up and the car was flooded, which leaves us with this hot mess. Well, as we were stripping the interior, one thing led to another and we ended up cutting off off the roof, which leads us to today's video where we are going to be installing an OEM BMW carbon fiber roof on our $1,850 F30-328i. So here to help me today, we have Gary over here and Zach, who is actually putting up the video online right now of us ripping the roof off. So we're putting that up. So if you just watch that video, we don't know if this is going to be successful yet. Nice. Gary, you seem really hopeful. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Now, because the car was only $1,850, I couldn't justify going to the dealer and spending $5,000 plus on an OEM carbon fiber roof. So we did the next best thing. Now, if you take a look over here on the floor next to our giveaway F3335, you can see that we got our hands on an OEM BMW M3 carbon fiber roof. Now, I picked this thing up on eBay for just $750 shipped. And the quality shows that because honestly, it's terrible looking. If you take a look at the light reflection, you can see this thing is like smear city. There are swirls everywhere. There are a ton of scratches and I don't know how I'm gonna get it off the frame of the car. Now, if you watched the previous video where we cut the roof off of this car, you'll know that getting the metal roof off was a huge pain in the butt. So I'm really nervous that we're gonna crack the carbon and completely destroy the roof that I spent $750 on. But with the right tools, Gary's experience, and a little patience, we should be successful, and worst case, we'll just put the glass back in and make it a convertible. Let's get this roof up on the bumper stand and we'll start chiseling away and see if we can separate that thin layer of carbon from the F80 roof. And there it is, the underside. Check this out. I don't know, maybe we should leave the, uh, the sunroof hole just so you can see it. Yeah. This is so cool looking, this huge one by one. And then we have the roof bow, which is a non-structural part and basically just supports it so you don't get like weird like wind buffeting and whatnot. All right, so here is the challenge. So they epoxy this on. The other one was spot weld, we had to drill it out. This one is held on with, what's it called, panel bond? Mm -hmm. panel bond. With panel bond, which is a crazy epoxy. So basically we're gonna have to just very carefully chisel along the outside of here. I think the outside is gonna be okay, but where it's gonna get really difficult really quick is over here. I can't even stick my nail in it. It's like super hard. I don't know, Gary, Gary, how you feeling right now? You feeling good? I'm feeling great. We got this. <laughs> don't break it. All right, let me grab one of these lights here. And we can see what the heck Gary's doing. <laughs> this is a slow process. <laughs> Is it actually separating? Yeah. Look how there's like a random dribble of epoxy over here. It's like a number two pencil. <laughs> Here's the point. <laughs> it's, it's working. Ha ha, let me get some glasses so it'll go blind. I can't believe how strong this is. You're gonna say another free towel, but this one's been used. You can have that one. <laughs> oh, you touched it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yo. How's that side? Good? We did it! Dude. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, here, go this way. Right right here. We did it. Good job, Gary. Good job, Zach. All right, let's see if it fits. All right, let's put it. We obviously have some trimming to do and whatnot, but please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. What if it was an M4 roof? Oh gosh. 
Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude. Heck yeah. We done it. Um, all right, so let's talk about this for a second. So as many of you know, we are giving away our first raffle car, my personal F30 335. Raffle starts November 1st, 2022, and goes until December 31st, 2022. There's a link for you down in the description where you can enter, once November hits, to win my personal car. That being said, spoiler alert, we're probably gonna give this car away as well um, after that. I don't like the roof. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of in a weird spot right now. Um, I, I don't think that this roof does justice to the car, especially if we are going to give it away and we are going to put our name on it. Um, there's just a lot of imperfections like this, like this, like this. Can a lot of this be polished out? Yeah. Am I shocked that we even got this dismounted? Yes, I'm very shocked. I didn't expect it to actually work. So you're as shocked as we are and I'm so glad it actually fits the car. So that's awesome too. Um, that being said, being that this car will one day most likely be raffled away and given to one of you guys, we don't want you to have second best. So if you look over by the garage door, we bought a brand new F80 M3 carbon roof for three times the amount that we paid for the car. Let's pull the brand new one over here and take a look at it. the one that we're going to be installing on the car. Brand new, we just had this shipped in from Germany, from BMW. Um, took, what, four weeks to get it? Mm -hmm. And it's perfect. And this is what we want to put on the car. Plot twist. <laughs> All right, so at this point in the process, I need to get everything prepped and ready to go for our brand new OEM BMW F80 M3 carbon fiber roof. When I was drilling out the spot welds, you can see over here, sometimes I went all the way through, which wasn't really ideal. So what I did on the other side mostly is I just took some 3M tape and I stuck it on the bottom. The goal is that as I put the epoxy down and then put the new roof on with Gary, it doesn't just drip through and into the car, which doesn't really matter anyway, because there's no material. On the ones that I didn't drill all the way through, you can see that it left this like middle nub thing that's like above it and it doesn't come off. So what I have to do now is I have to go through and just grind all of these flat. I got this plastic sheeting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it on the hood, put it through the car and then this way, my real goal is to just keep all the dust out of all the vents and whatnot of the car. Obviously I'm gonna still vacuum up the car anyway. So, you know, as much as I can keep it out of the actual like AC system and whatnot, the better. have everything prepped and sanded down and ready to rock. And I need to prime those areas that I sanded down so nothing gets rusted and funky. So I bought this in an automotive store and it says primer. And then under it in bigger letters, it says sealer. I bought the wrong one. So Zach had to run out to the store. He's getting us some actual primer. We're gonna prime it, let that dry. And then from there, we're going to use some panel bond to secure the OEM carbon fiber roof. Thanks to Zach, we have automotive primer. All right, it is time for the roof bow. Again, the roof bow sits across there. It is not a structural piece. It is a don't want your carbon fiber roof flapping while you drive piece. So none of what we did today was structural. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you take a look at that one, it's spot welded on over there. Um, I don't know how to weld. <laughs> so I'm gonna rivet it on, which is gonna be just as good. So let me get this in place. Probably just by a welder. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Sweet. Oh wait, the clamp's still on it. Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> All right, look at that, ready? Look at that. The most structural, non-structural piece this car has. I see what you did there. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Guess I don't need sunroof drains. <laughs> Weight savings, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, 
look at this. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm going to just rough up the end of this just to make sure that everything is going to bond super amazing. And then we're going to prep the car with panel bond, lay it down, clamp it down. We're gonna have a roof on this car. Look, there's these, it's like a maze that it goes through and it like mixes. This stuff's serious. It's amazing. I see what you did there. Here we go. You went too tight. <laughs> <It was tight. laughs> okay. All right, we laid off the panel bond down. We made sure that everything was good. We measured all four corners, make sure we're good. Now it's just basically clamp, let it sit for the weekend, and then we'll resume another day when everything is dry to see how it turned out. Welcome back, it is now Monday. Last time you saw us, it was Friday. We let the car sit over the weekend and we made sure to have it like 65 degrees in here, just completely wasting energy to make sure my roof adhered to prevent any leaks. Now, if you take a look, everything bonded really good. This thing is super solid, but you can see we got a little blue. When we clamped it, we made sure to not directly clamp onto the carbon. We made sure to use towels. But what we're finding is, and this is kind of intentional, that all of the towels got epoxied, especially this one here. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I would much rather have these little blue microfiber towels where I have to just shave off some of this than have one of these bad boys epoxied. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to declamp it, clean off the roof, stand back and admire the new carbon fiber roof. What do you think? Whoa, did you see what we did? <laughs> <laughs> Gary, that was the best like reaction I've ever seen in my life. A list actor. It looks really nice. Um, so we just did the best we could to uh, knock down some of this epoxy. Now I'm gonna seal it up and then we have to glue on the end pieces. Um, they're over here, come walk with me. So as you can see over here, over the weekend, I painted these, we didn't paint them on camera because well, I did it over the weekend. So we did the shark fin. I'm gonna have to cut that off with a razor blade. And then also we did these in gloss black and jet black. So they should match the other trim and they should look really good. But as I said, we are going to have to glue them on. Or actually maybe we could use some 3M tape because that's how the OEM ones were held onto that other F80 roof with the roof that we didn't end up using. So let's continue. All right, I just got this all prepped. It's been sitting for like 20 minutes. And this guy, what are you hungry or something? No, I just, I, I don't even. What happened? <laughs> I went to lean against the car and I forgot. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, don't touch it. So now we gotta get this crap off before it dries. You better get that off your fingers. Why are they super toxic? <laughs> so now that everything is cleaned up, look how good this roof looks. The carbon is perfect. It has superior shine, especially compared to this one over here. It's all scratched up and whatnot. If it's perfect because, well, it's BMW OEM. And the bottom has this like huge checkerboard look. I really wish I could leave it like this, but that brace kind of looks goofy. Another thing too, I kind of goofed. <laughs> I can stick my hand in here. It's not actually adhered. So I'm gonna have to stick some of this foam in here. Like I said before, it's not structural. It's just so it doesn't get all funky with the wind. But look at that. That looks so cool. It's such a shame that we have to cover it up with a new headliner. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put in the rails. I believe they're technically called drip rails. Um, now to do that, they are held on from the factory with these little black plastic tabs. And this is how they are attached on an F80 with a carbon roof. Um, so what happens is this, we found out the hard way, actually snaps into the rail. Now from the factory, the 328 had these other white clips that would clip into the metal roof. At first I was like, how the heck does this work? 
then I realized that these aren't it. We also realized that we're terrible at painting. Well, I'm terrible at painting and um, these look terrible. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these. For the time being, I'm going to take the ones off of my F80 and I'm gonna put them on here and then I'm gonna get some new ones for my F80. We'll put them on here. Doesn't really matter at that point because everything's gonna be professionally painted. So that being said, it's time to mount all of these little tabs to the roof rail and then put on the drip rails. Destroying an F80 to make an F30 cool. This is kind of wrong what we're doing here. Oh yeah. All right, check it out. This, I'm so stoked. This came out so good. Look at this, we have our F80 rack things on the side. Um, the glass is just set in there. So don't be like, oh, the gap's not good. It's not in. So we're not glass guys. We didn't take the glass out, spoiler alert. And uh, the only thing we need to do next, we need to have the glass put back in and we need to get the shark fin off. Now, what I'm going to do just to make sure there's no leaks, I'm just gonna have the glass guy since he literally has to seal the glass anyway. I don't want any leaks in the back, so I'm just gonna see if he can hit that with his like, they use like special heated urethane, which is going to be like super awesome. So I'm like, hey, while you're here, can you just put a little doo doo and then pop that bad boy on? <laughs> hey, it's a, it's, a, it's a technical term. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we are going to cut off the shark fin. Finally, it's like, this project started like 10 days ago. We have to cut the shark fin off, so let's do it now. It's the hardest part of the Oh, I scratched the roof. Dude. Oh, crap. Oh, we can't sell it now. Crap. Oh, I messed it up. Uh. Crap. That, you got me distracted. Now I got blood all over the hammer. <laughs> oh, crap. Well. So we got a little bit of a problem now. The most important thing is that the antenna here didn't get damaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this from this car. We're gonna transfer it over onto the new one. And then, uh... all right, just got off the phone with the BMW. There's just this part right here. Literally, there's nothing to it. it is $75, yikes. So basically, if I go to BMW, get a new one, it's 75 bucks and then I have to pay 50 bucks, 100 bucks, I don't know, to get it professionally painted, which I'm not really super excited about. I looked on eBay and a lot of them are just, it's not better than this. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is I am going to have this installed tomorrow. My big thing is I'm more worried about this thing leaking than anything else. That being said, I am going to have the guy, I'm gonna clean this up and tomorrow, when, or Thursday, today's Tuesday, two days the guy's coming to do the glass. I'm gonna have him secure this onto the top of the car. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of our carbon shark fins, we have them over at the warehouse, and I am going to put it over top. The carbon shark fin is two by two. This is one by one. Some people might have a problem with that, and that's okay. If it doesn't look good, what I'm going to do is I will paint the carbon fiber black. So it's a win-win-win. So basically what's happening is I'm going to make it so it doesn't leak, that is most important to me. And then we're gonna have carbon fiber and if it doesn't look good, we'll just paint it black. We'll have to take it to a bike shop and have it painted black. So 
Um, Cost-wise, it's probably the same, but like I said, I want a very tight timeline on when this needs to get secured to the roof because I didn't spend all this money to have my car leak. All right, so to effectively end this video, I am just going to gently set this on top of the car. Give you guys a look at what this is going to look like. I am super happy with how this looks. If you saw the videos from way back when we bought this car for just $1,850, the car looked terrible. It was like 50 shades of silver. Now everything is painted nice. We're gonna have to tint the windows. The roof came out amazing. Good job, Zach. Good job, Gary, who's not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we just have to button this up and then we are good. And stay tuned because we have a lot of work to do on the inside of this car. Once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach behind the camera, and that was Gary who was helping us out. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.